Hey, what's going on guys? So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at another Unreal Engine 5 environment. But this time around, I'm gonna be carrying my camera, which is the Vive Pro that I got over the Black Friday weekend. So I have it set up right here. I have it mounted right here, pretty complicated setup uh, using Velcro. So I can kind of remove it and put it back in. So we're gonna be kind of using this. So you can probably see on the video right now, so just kind of walk around this environment. Now I am gonna be doing this a lot more because I think it's a lot better than me just walking around in there with WASD. It's better if I can actually point the camera, you know, and actually show it to y'all. And if you don't think that's a good idea, I can go back to the traditional moving around, but I just wanted to try something different. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started, all right? All right, so we are here in the kitchen. So this is your typical metaverse kind of like house. You know, you're probably thinking to yourself, I can't afford that, but you never know. Maybe in the metaverse, you know, you're a lot richer than in real life. And the only cool thing about the whole Unreal Engine 5 concept is that, you know, eventually you will not need a really high-end graphics card to be able to run this. I mean, we all saw what, how the Matrix ran on a PS5 in that demo. So don't be afraid because you're not gonna be able to do this right now with your current setup, but eventually UE5 is gonna be available and you're gonna be able to run this kind of graphics in your console. So if you think in VR, it's all gonna be freaking amazing. The future of gaming looks pretty darn good. So hopefully I'm not kind of making you dizzy right now. So this is more like real estate kind of thing. You know, in the future again, you can actually go in there in VR if you're trying to purchase a house or something. Now I am running this on a 4K in the viewer. So as you can see, it's a little bit laggy a little bit of translucent kind of objects right there. I mean, overall, it looks pretty darn good. So I'm gonna go ahead and move towards you, but I'm kind of looking. So let's go move left right here. And what I'll do is I'll flip the camera so I'm still looking at it. I'm just gonna go backwards. Right there, I made this. This painting, I legit make that. And again, in the metaverse, you're gonna be able to share your NFTs with people. That's just, right there is a piece of art, you know? And it is on sale. For like $500,000, you can have that NFT painting that I made. It took me a while to make it too. So here's your couch right here. I mean, it looks, it looks freaking fantastic. And unfortunately, my space here is pretty small. If I had a bigger space, maybe a studio, I can walk around this entire thing with my camera. But as you all know, I live in a pretty small space. So this is all I can kind of move around in. Got the laptop set up. And if you want, if you want to take a look at my kind of NFT a little bit closer, so you can really gauge how beautiful it is. You know, there it is. All right. Got the doors in there. Gonna get closer. Now I only have two trackers right now or base stations for this vibe. So it is probably gonna be a little bit shaky, but I am planning on getting a lot more trackers here shortly. All right, so let me go ahead and put it back on my shoulder so we can check it out. I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and kneel down so we can get some I like nice shots. I might put some counterweights on this, you know. And that backdrop right there is just an image. It's not geometry. So that's why it kind of looks like that. Looks pretty cool. What's cooking? 1817, I guess time doesn't, I think time is paused in the metaverse, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and go upstairs. All right, so we're upstairs now and there's a little bit of a bedroom here, I guess. So here's the bed, looking pretty good. That coffee in there, you can kind of walk in there. That looks pretty cool. Uh oh, it's auto saving, so give me a second. Pretty cool stuff. Got some Archivist stuff in there. Got this dragon thing. It's pretty popular. I've seen this thing like a lot. Got a coffee cup right there. It's not really casting any shadows. I mean, obviously, I don't have any reflections because I'm not real. So let me go ahead and flip over here. Got a bootleg computer there. This is kind of cool. Let me get closer to this. Lift it up. 
passport, I'm guessing. That's pretty dope. Here's the rest of the room right here. And again, back to the bed. This is so cool, man. It's, it's technology is so crazy right now. But I really do see this being used in a realtor business if trying to buy a house. Obviously for million dollar houses, I can even walk over the edge, kind of like peek over. Oh, the tracker is messing up. Did you see that Twitch? Cause I only have two right now, but eventually we will have four. Well, like I said, it's a pretty small environment. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it. Hope you all like this video. If you wanna see a lot more videos like this, kind of like a walkthrough, let me know. Or if you want the traditional me walking inside the engine, let me know as well. But yeah, this is a realistic metaverse house that one day you might actually be living in.